Yo, what's good everybody? This is Suheel back with Feel Good Threads. And if you've ever wondered how to make your Jordan 1 Wings logo look crispy, this tutorial is for you. Today I'm gonna to be going over some tips and tricks that I use personally to make sure that my Jordan 1s look factory when they're set. Are you ready? Well, let's go. All right guys, so before we start, I just wanna introduce the base shoe that I've been working on. This is the Jordan 1 Bloodline. If you're familiar with the Jordan 1 Bloodline, usually these sections here are black. As you guys can see, I've already painted them red. And I've got some overspray in this section here, but I'll be painting this black, so that'll go away. Now onto the tutorial portion of this, we've got this small section here that if you've ever tried to paint the Jordan 1 Wings logo, you know how much of a pain in the butt this can be. Tip number one guys, make sure you have the appropriate tools so that way you can have the best finish possible. I tried to get a brush that fits the appropriate section that I'm working on. As you guys could see, this is an 18-0 short liner and that is by Angelus. If you don't have this brush, there are several small detail brushes. For example, this one by Princeton. It's a 12-0 angular shader. And again, has a very, very small and sharp tip. So you can really get into the small crevices without getting paint all over the place. Tip number two, before I start on the actual logo, you can see that it's kind of drowned in. It is compressed as well. So you can see it slightly, but it's not very, very visible. Always have a reference image. That way you can compare the two as you're going along. If you don't have this, just Google an image of a Jordan 1 logo or a Jordan 1, and you should be able to find this in images. I'm going to be using Black Angelus paint today. And the reason I'm using this is because it's shiny. And if you look at the actual Jordan 1 logo, it has a shine to it. So let me pull out a little bit of black. I usually like to just put it into one of the dishes here so that way I have enough. And the first thing I want you guys to recognize is I'm using an 18-0 short liner with really nice clean bristles. If you guys abuse your brushes and don't clean them, the hairs on the, the complete tip right here will fray in every which way and it's gonna be next to impossible to get nice, clean, crisp lines, all right? So you need to make sure that you're using an 18-0 or some kind of a short liner, but it has to have a nice, clean tip as well. Take a very, very small dip. You can see how much is on there. It's not overwhelming. And what I like to start to do is first look for the corners because that way I can start to line it all out. So let's go ahead and line it first. I see the tip is right here. I'm gonna just keep going through. It's a little bit of a process because you have to continue to re-dip. I like to try to come from a top down like this rather than at an angle like this. And that'll help you give you a nice, clean, straighter line. So you guys notice that I have the Jordan almost parallel to the ground. And I'm gonna just go ahead and dip down now. Now we've got the whole Jordan area kind of locked in. And now you know the black only has to go on the inside. So let's continue to work this through. If you guys notice, I will start with one side of the ribbon here. And I will not go all the way to the end. I'll just get close enough where I fill in the area in black. You can't have a lot of paint on there because if you do, then you're gonna hit areas that you're not supposed to. And one of the biggest things that I use here, guys, and one of your biggest tips here is, when I have a nice bright light that's kind of bouncing off of this Jordan logo, I can see all of the curves, I could see the letters, and that really helps me kind of define where I should be painting this stuff black. Keeping your shoe like stable is very clutch in these kind of situations because the more stable, and control that you have on this, the more cleaner the lines will look. This first go around, we're just trying to get some paint on the actual emblem here. Doesn't need to be perfect, we're just trying to fill in some black. All right guys, another important point. What happens is, you can see here, paint starts to dry up on that tip there. So you gotta make sure that you keep it clean. You also know like the amount of pressure that I'm putting on the, the brush 
is just light enough where you can see the paint taps it, the actual surface. But I'm not like dousing the whole area with paint. All right guys, as that dries, we're gonna continue through. Let's start to paint the basketball here. Again, I'm using the light to look at the depression before I start to paint. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just lay down a very light coat just to get some of the outline. This part doesn't have to be perfect guys, we're just trying to fill in still, okay? Same thing, I'm using the top down kind of method here where I'm looking at the angle here where I could see the basketball well and then I'll start to lay down paint. These companies trying to sell me like I'm Barristan. Start with my craft, get it goes like Kerrigan. There is no comparison. First gen American. We on the same side, Reggie Wayne, Marvin Harrison. As this basketball drives, we're gonna now concentrate on all of the small little wings here, little feathers. As you guys can see on here, there is a whole bunch of them, and I really like to use this now as reference just to make sure that I'm doing the same thing and I don't have to make any corrections, okay? So let's go ahead, because this is a small area, there's a bunch of indentations. I always like to make sure that this brush is nice and clean beforehand, and now let's proceed. It doesn't matter really where you start. I like to start from the outside one way or another. So let's, uh, let's just go ahead and start with this little feather portion. And again, I'm gonna try to outline the outskirts of it. And this is where it really helps to have your, your shoe on a flat surface like this and trying to hit it top down. Getting your brush in the right angle can help you kind of shape things out. That's what I'm doing here, just kind of looking through. And just going against the exact depression to get that shape right. Go through in each one and do that real quick. And we're gonna go ahead and let this guy dry for a little bit. All right guys, I'm jumping in here with this angular shader by Princeton. This is a 12-0. And what I'll be doing is cleaning up any of the portions that shouldn't be on the red side. So we're gonna be doing a series of going back and forth. We're gonna go black and this red so we can start to clean up any of the mess that we have here, okay? I actually use these pens here by Pigma. They're called Pigma Color Technologies. And you can see here it's a 0.25 millimeter tip. So let me show you guys what I do. Just take out the micron, make sure the paint is dry here. And this is the part where I just really try to clean up and make sure that each one of these guys looks exactly like the logo that it should look like but this will save you guys an immense amount of time over painting because this gives you a lot more control. But this guys is the reason why I don't get all the way to the edge because I use this pen to get those nice clean and crisp lines. And that guys is the tip of the day because a lot of people don't know about these pens. And hopefully if you learn today, you learn something new. After hours of focus, we finally have this Jordan Wings logo completed. Now the most important part is protecting your artwork. What I'm gonna be using today, guys, is LK Shoes Leather Top Coat. What this is is a gloss finish, and it actually will not only protect 
our artwork, but it'll also be scratch resistant and it'll seal everything at the same time. So let's go ahead and apply this. You can either do it with an airbrush or with your regular brush. Today I'm gonna opt to do it with my airbrush since I have one here and we're gonna finalize this tutorial. All right guys, so I just shake the bottle a little bit, make sure that the mixture isn't settled. And I'm just gonna put a couple of drops in here, nothing crazy, because we have a very small Wings logo and this goes a long way. By the way, um, they were nice enough to give me a coupon code, so I'll leave that in the description below and I'll give you guys a link on exactly how to get this stuff, okay? I'm only concentrating on this small little portion here, guys. I'll give it a little bit of time to settle out, five, 10 minutes, and I'll spray with one more coat and we're done. All right, y'all, the last tip of the day, you cannot get better if you don't have any experience. So please continue to work on your shoes. The more experience you have, the easier these Wings logos will become for you. If you guys appreciated the video today, please smash that like button for me. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because we're gonna be giving away a pair of shoes very soon. Again, my name is Suheel with Feel Good Threads, and I'm out of here. Peace. Would you rather be on or would you rather be happy? Supposed to be a doctor or a lawyer, but I'm rapping. I feel happy when I feel that breeze. While the ash and the smoke burn through the palm trees. Please, California been a place for a few days. I've been in the day. I've been on the road. I've been on the plane. Put me in, coach. I've been in the game. Man, I'm the type of dude to kick a flow and get the dough to rise. Automatic flow, you should know this shit is motorized. In it to the depth, see the stress got me mortified. Caution in the wind, cause my kin living shorter lives. Money long, bow, bow on the organ squad. Say she a snack, no happy. Happy meal, order fries, 45, send the soldier guys to the borderline.